Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Dark Side Detective for more point and click adventure game action. We are back where we left off. We're doing this lightning puzzle up on the roof of the library and we're going to hopefully solve this in this one because it gave us a little bit of trouble last time, didn't it? So, um, so what do I need to do? Get down as soon as possible. Looks like the circuit is connecting the book downstairs to this aerial. I guess I should break that circuit and then wire the aerial to the lightning rod so the power has somewhere to go. Right, so... Um, yeah, I struggled with this one towards the end of the last episode. I'm, I'm never really too good at these type of puzzles. Um, so we need to get the power to stop going here and to go down here instead. Um, so we need it to sort of come along. I mean, we don't really have the pieces to get this all down here, I don't think, to make a straight line. So I guess we're going to have to go like down maybe here or down like that. So we're going to need this piece, um, let me just have a think about this, we're going to need this piece, actually there's only one of that type of piece, the little left hand turn there at the bottom, apart from there, so perhaps that's going to have to go there like that, and then... Right, so... Perhaps we need to get... I think we're going to have to get this this bit up here, aren't we? Uh, I don't really want to do that. Uh, let's do... Let's do that. Uh, okay. So... Is there a way of getting this? There we go. <laughs> well, that was a lot easier than <laughs> than I made it in the last one. Jeez. Okay. Um, <laughs> why did I make that so difficult last time? Ouch! My hand. Look, detective. The storm is dying out. Imagine that. Right. So it's something to do with this then. Okay. We should be able to close the book now. So, that seems to have done it. Now to go close that book. Well, that was actually a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so, we need to go back to the special room, which was this way, wasn't it? Yeah. So, are we able to just close this now? Yeah, we are. And there goes that ghost. Oh, it looks like all the ghosts are going. Well, so I think achievement unlocked ghost whisperer. So that could be the the end of this case then. Trunks filled, detective. Though I don't see why we had to take all those books. Dooley, they're contraband, heavy contraband. We have an agreement then, Doris. You don't find me for having the books. I don't sue the kid for entering the vault. I go back to business. Sons hunting, haunting. Sorry. You should always get that. You should also get that wiring fixed. Ah, fine. Come and do, let's get back to the office. See you at camp, Mr. Dooley. See you there, Devon. Camp. Case closed. Wow, so we we're actually really close to the end of that case then. Um, we just screwed up that puzzle in the last one, which it turns out was quite simple. Um, Disorient Express. <laughs> I like it. Let's get onto the third case then. Case summary Dooley has called me to the subway station to deal with an emergency. Right, let's start it. Disorient Express. I've got to say, I'm really enjoying this game so far. Detective, you're here. I came as soon as you called. What's the case? Case? No, I just needed a ride. Station's closed. <laughs> closed? Yeah, some spooky train is blocking the platform. Anyway, let's go. Ah, a spooky train. Yep, spooky train. Anyway, we better get going or we'll be late for work. Dooley is a spooky train with a dark side division, do you not think? I try not to, that's detective work. Let's go have a look then. Fine, but if we miss the free donuts at work you're buying. 66 6th Street. Can't say I'm surprised to find that something strange is happening here, that's what I was thinking. Uh, are you sure we can't just go to work? I need to get my morning nap in. No. Some, there's like an eerie fog here, isn't there? Look. Does that mean it's closed, those red lights? 
Let's get on with this waste of time. Nothing happened in here. Investigation then. Right, let's just head down. Cops is dumb. Not as dumb as your grammar, kid. <laughs> yeah, kid. Wow, it was him, wasn't it? <laughs> Ticket machine. Seems to be working, but I've got no cash. Time to put the, this badge to work and make use of my police privileges. Seems to be working. Right, okay. So how do we make this work then? Time to put the badge to work and make use of my police. Oh, can we just go through? I'm guessing perhaps we can just go through then. Uh, flickering lights always suggest spooky hijinks. That is true. Do you use the subway often? No. Before we had the squad car, I tended to take taxis. Cough. Snob cough. What? What? <laughs> Did you say something just then? What? Me? No, no, no. Yeah, you did, you liar. Right, through the barrier? Sorry, detective. The barrier's broken, we have to crawl under it. Can't we at least jump over? Nah, the insurance for jumping was too high, we're only cleared for a slow crawl. Being a cop is nothing like television promised it would be. At least not in video games, anyway. Ooh! Hey look, this guy's got a banjo. At least I think it's a banjo. Wow, this is an eerie train, isn't it? And the conductor seems to be a ghost. We can also go down to the platform. Let's see what Busker says about things. Mr. Busker, what have you got to say? Oscar the Crouch. Unky Sam don't want you to know about the truths I'm here to show, so it makes me frown when I smell me a pig and his dumb sidekick come to shut me down. Sidekick isn't a word. Poetic license. Pig. Lovely. Nice person. Um, right. See, it's just spooky. Generically spooky. Nothing special about it. Let's go get donuts. Dooley, it's glowing. Maybe it's pregnant. Um, yeah, I'm sure. Right. There's something about this green, transparent, and eerie train that suggests it's not meant to be here. Definitely. Do you have a ticket, sir? Uh, sorry, who are you? Trains conductor, sir. Right, you look a tad ghostly, sir. That I do, that I do. Are you a ghost? Not at all, sir. Ghosts are blue for one, and they can't be seen, not without the proper equipment. No, we're from the dark side. Ah, conductor Gill. Then what are you doing here? Train stuck, sir. Doing my job to keep the passengers safe while this gets rectified. Rectified? Yes, sir. I'm sure those boys from the bright side division are looking into it right now. Bright side division? Bright side division. Is that like their version of us? <laughs> Why are you here? As I said, sir, train stuck. Not sure what caused it. Likely a problem with the tracks, sir. Would we'll have to see inside the control rooms to be sure, but I can't leave my post here. Okay, ticket. Thought not. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you solids to leave solids. <laughs> Did you just call us solids? Certainly not, sirs. I wouldn't be throwing around language like that. Okay, goodbye. Come back any time, sir. Right, so... We need a ticket to get on the train, then. Um, perhaps we can get one up there, but let's perhaps take a look down the platform first. Security camera. I'd wonder if this camera caught any useful footage, but I can see that the working light is painted on there. <laughs> right, Janet cart. A plunger, but without the plungy bit. So, a stick, then? Okay, we've got a handle. So, yeah, it is a stick. Two more of these, and I could have a mediocre juggling act. Right, okay, control room. Bin, let's look in the bin. Hmm, there seems to be something in here. There's always something in a bin. There we go, a receipt. See? A ghostly looking receipt. A glowing green receipt that says, for pickup. I can't read much else on it. Hmm. So there's toilets. We can't go any further along it. Why is this? There's like something dripping here. We can look at the drip, actually, which is interesting. So let's look at that. That water smells funky. It's sewer water, Dooley. It's no excuse for poor hygiene. Alright, well, let's go in the control room. The control room is locked. For now. Dooley! Ah, uh, come on, detective. You know as well as I do how these things go. Well, we're not breaking the door down. Let's go into the toilet. Oh, it's a rat. That's a massive rat. Hmm, I need to get my eyebrows plucked. Right. Uh, right, it ran off. Okay. Anything in the cubicles? A ghost. 
I'm in a bit of a bind, daddy -o. <clears throat> Okay, what's this guy? Uh, hi there. Oh, sorry, the door was unlocked. Yeah, lock's broken. I've no feet to hold against it. <laughs> right, well, uh, I'll leave you to it. Whoa, hold up, daddy-o. I'm in a bit of a funky situation. Maybe you could help me out. Oh, um, why is it? Store has no toilet paper, daddy-o, and I'm a cat that needs some. Yeah, uh, sure, sure, we can look. Okay, so we need to find this guy some toilet paper. Do ghosts use toilet paper? This rat's back again. <laughs> what on earth is that? It's the purple tentacle. <laughs> Not sure, but I think we could send it back to wherever it came from. Flush. No use. You could say that it is in tentacle on staying where it is. <laughs> oh, God. I need to find something to push it down with. Oh, okay, maybe we can use this stick. Not sure that's the best course of action here. Okay. Oh, look at this graffiti. That's some lazy graffiti. I always put in more effort when tagging the subways. What? You heard me knock. <laughs> right, that's the same. Okay. So this is the purple tentacle, so we've got to get rid of that. What are you going to do, detective? I don't know. I need to find something to force him down with. Right, maybe we need the other side of the plunger then. Get out of here, rat. <gasps> toilet paper. Creepy or not, nobody deserves to be stranded without toilet paper. Very true. Okay, we've got the toilet paper. Cheap sandpaper cleverly disguised as toilet paper. Flush. That noise reminds me of my career since I was assigned to the dark side division. I'm sure it's not that bad. There's nothing left to take. Okay. Right, you rat, get out of here. Right, let's give this guy the toilet paper then. Uh, there we go. Here you go, guy. Sorry to leave you hovering for so long. Far out, daddy-o. Here, take this coin as thanks. Okay, we've got an occult coin. An evil-looking coin about the size of a quarter. Hmm. What can we use that for? Maybe buying a ticket in the machine? If it's like a special... Ooh, can we use it to, like, pick this lock as well? Let's try that. Doesn't feel right to me. My gut says no. Okay. Right. Let's head back up here, then. I wonder if we can use this to buy a special ticket for this train. There is not a chance in hell that this will work. Printing... All right, of course. You received an item, ticket, see? A train ticket I purchased with the strange coin that Darksider gave me. Well, there we go, see? When in doubt, try it. Right, we've got a ticket, ma'am. Here you go, one ticket. Fine, on you go then, I suppose. Oh, sorry, I did the wrong voice there. <laughs> How can I help you, sir? Uh, well, we want to get on the train. Ooh. Hippie gal, granny, party guy. And we can go, oh, we can go out onto the tracks as well. That's interesting. Uh, is there anything we can interact with here? No, right. Let's talk to party guy. I like your glasses. Duh, they're my party goggles. On your way to a party? Always, darling. Every place is party place when I have my goggles on. And I always have my goggles on. Even here now, we party on the train. Right, okay. Can we have your thing? What an interesting dude. Right, hippie gal. Well, hello there. Hiya. Where are you off to? I was on my way to San... Wait, San Frankenstein Cisco. <laughs> Lovely. But then we got stuck here. This place is terrifying. How so? Well, for a start, there's not a single screaming beast in the sky, nobody is being followed by shadow men, and no, but nothing is on fire. Nothing. Maybe you're not the girl for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, Granny. Granny Dooley, is that you? Sorry, dearie, I'm Granny Gooley. You do look like my little Patrick, though. My name's Patrick, too. Did you also like the games of I Spy as a child? I did. I spy with my little eye the coming of the end, the world eating itself, rivers of gore flooding the streets. I don't... I, I don't know this version of the game. Oh, seeing the end times was little Patrick's favourite. Well, little Patrick, I'm guessing, is the dark side version of Dooley. Ooh. Ah, a dark side portal. It appears we found our number one suspect for all these strange goings on. You have the right to remain silent when questioned. Anything you say or do you may... Dooley, what are you doing? 
reading it, it's right. <laughs> and how exactly do you intend to arrest it? With my handcuffs, obviously. Top marks for enthusiasm, Dooley. Right, so we've got... I mean, we can walk through it. Is there anything else we can do here? No, I'm thinking we might have to go through. Did you ever see that documentary about cannibals that live in the subway tunnels? No. Me either, which I regret right now. <laughs> Dooley, there are no cannibals in the subway. You don't know that. You didn't see the documentary. <laughs> He's a strange guy. Looks like the purple rift has an accomplice. Wait, is that dark side us? I'm gonna need a second pair of handcuffs. I'm thinking this is dark side us. Agent McScream, yeah it is. You look familiar. Does the fire recognize the flame? Does the darkness recognize the shadow? Does the storm recognize the... the... wind? Rain? Damn it man, I've lost my train of thought. So you're an agent here, huh? We are all agents of the never-ending hunt, servants of the crawling death void, ministers of the world's cruelty. Well, I'm happy you're doing okay for yourself. Thanks. It's been a lot of hard work and late nights at the office. Any idea what's going on? Interlopers, fiends, fleshy monstrosities, things that should not have come to pass, should not be have come to pass, that, that's, things that should not be have come to pass, right, okay. Tracks of chaos intertwine. So not much of an idea right now then? No. So, receding hairline, how's that treating you? The end comes for us all. Entropy is a cruel, is a cruel mistress. Yeah, let's hope it's from growing up in this weird hole. Alright, we best be going. We had all best be going to the places we would be best be at. Yeah. Right, okay, so... Maybe this is our train? Yeah, it is. It's Raxer again. Finally, somebody in authority. Hey. Sorry, guy, but you don't know any more than the rest of us. Hi, detective, what's going on? Raxa, why are you here? Get in the train home from college, then we got diverted to wherever this is. Well, we're on the case now, so get comfortable. He means... No, yeah, I get it. Let me know if I can help at all. We'll do. Okay, so... Our train's gone into the dark side, and their train's come into the bright side. Interesting. Headphones. Hello? Doodah D. I wonder if he even knows what's going on. Okay, fire extinguisher. Let's have a look at that. In case of fire, pray somebody has refilled the extinguisher. They have not. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, conductor. Stay back, monster! Whoa, calm down. Sorry, I thought you were him. Him? The intense man in the tunnel who threatens to arrest and or eat anyone who gets off the train. Arrest or eat? Yep, and I'm not sure who he ch who chooses. What's going on here? You're not... You're really not him. I, I don't really know what happened. We left the last station on time, then some weird lights flashed, and now we're here. Wherever here is. Who's this man you keep talking about? He, he looks a bit like you, only not. Not at all, now that I see you, properly see you. He stalks about outside this train, sniffing for clues and snarling when he sees us. Has he hurt anyone so far? Thankfully, no. He seems more menacing than dangerous. Alright, goodbye. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Sorry about the mix-up earlier. Right, so, waster. <laughs> hey, dude, we've been on this train for ages. What's going on? I'm a fr- Because I keep seeing floating green people. I'm not at lip- Heh, <laughs> I think I indulged a little too much this morning. <laughs> Brilliant. You probably shouldn't tell me that. I'm an officer of the law. Far out, dude. Never mind. Uh, warning sign. If you find yourself in a parallel dimension, please stay in the carriage. An oddly useful warning. Yeah, it's quite specific. Right, let's head outside. I should probably stay with these people. Make sure they're okay. You're tired from walking through the tunnels, aren't you? Stop using your Sherlock powers on me. Okay. So there's a ghost cop. We can go down the platform as well. We can go up the stairs as a ghost busker. Right, ghost cop. Now then, now then, now then. You look like one of those living folk we got plodding about the place right now. Officer Dooley? Name's Gooley, <laughs> chief of the Brightside Division. Brightside? Division, specialists, deal with threats from your neck of the woods, so as to speak. 
My neck of the woods? The other world. That which from whence you came, son. I surmise from your appearance that you are a detective, albeit one down on his luck. Why does he speak like that? Hey. I presume, that being the case, you've crossed over to investigate your world's version of this situation. I am. Can you help? No, son, I cannot. This isn't your jurisdiction. You should leave this to us professionals and take care of our train back in your own world. Shouldn't you look into that? Jurisdiction, son. Seems like a concept beyond a dangerous maverick such as yourself. Maybe I should slap you behind bars. Uh, no, that won't really be necessary. Can we... Give me one good reason why I don't arrest you this second, son. I'd rather you didn't. Oof. You're up then. Only McScream and me is allowed in and you ain't us. Alright. Let's talk to Busker. Sing me a song, buddy. What? You're the Busker, not me. That's how Buskers work here, you tourist. Right, okay, so we basically... <laughs> do it the other way here. Okay, there's some mould here ticket machine is this is this machine crying huh. maybe what's this mold a dark patch of fuzzy mold I think it's looking at me you received fuzzy mold Ugh. we can go outside weirdly whoa come get me from the station he said routine he said ass this is a costume shop it's like whoa there was a big old thing going past there Patch of mold so fuzzy, it looks like hey, yeah, I was thinking that. It looks a bit like LeChuck's beard from Monkey Island 2. Um, it hurts my eyes to look. Right, what about the debris? Most of the dark side city appears to be in ruin. Yeah. Trains do not run on time, they run on fuel. Trains would also be late. Some things are universal, I suppose. Daily Chronicle. What horrors could possibly make the news here? Mayor points off camera. <laughs> Fair enough. Given how little I know about this place, they could sell costumes or turn you into one. We, we can go in. <gasps> it's Guybrush! And is that Simon the Sorcerer? And that's, um, oh god, from Full Throttle. Why can't I think of his name? Ben, from Full Throttle. Nice little Easter eggs in here, I like it. Um, okay then, I think that's where we'll leave it for this episode. Um, yeah, a lot's happened, hasn't it? A good start to this case. I'm really enjoying this one as well. This is a really good game so far, and I'm really glad that I'm playing it. Um, as I said, it's one that I've been meaning to play for ages, so it's really good to finally be actually experiencing it. And so far, I feel like I, I've made a good decision with this one, if I do say so myself. Uh, but that is going to do it for this episode, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.